Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I last uploaded. I've been in Greece, volunteering as a cat and a dog sanctuary for six weeks. And now, I'm finally home and ready to edit all the footage. So this is part one of the Cat Sanctuary series. I hope you enjoy. So you may be wondering, how did I get to invade, I mean, volunteer at this wonderful cat sanctuary? So there is this website called WorkAway, where there are volunteering opportunities all around the world. You give five hours of work for five days a week in exchange for free food and accommodation. So I was looking at opportunities in Athens, and when I saw this sanctuary, it just felt right. After a bit of research into their organisation, I decided to contact them and they got back to me that same day. So just like that. Two weeks later, I was off. We got up early that morning to see how stray cats are caught from the streets in order to be neutered. Every morning the house is deep cleaned, we hoover, steam clean and mop the floor, empty the litter boxes, wash out all of the bowls and feed everyone. This takes about two hours because there's so many volunteers. Then there's also the special tasks that change every day like giving vitamins, socialising with the cats in isolation, taking pictures for the social media, making cat toys, sanitising the doors and the walls and cleaning the litter boxes. This is Thunder. She's the main character of this place with the funniest personality I have ever encountered. Everywhere you go, she will be there causing mischief. Open up a cupboard, she'll be there. Have a blanket, she'll go on the leaf. She is my favourite cat ever. So I'm just trying to socialise this cat called Uno, he's really shy and so I've got this special food for him just here that I put in the bowl and I'm hoping that he comes out. No, I'm sorry, but you would have started on the food otherwise. Oh my god. You oh, want some? Dexter, he's very hungry. <laughs> there we go. I'll get it out for you. 
Okay. Bigfoot's happy. And now for Pingu. And Pingu. He's so cute. He's so After we finished our work on Sunday, our host offered to take us on a day out in Athens to do ice skating. Unfortunately, I can't skate, which is a slight problem when you're ice skating, but I slowly got the hang of it. After that, we went to an incredible vegan restaurant. I got a Mexican style wrap, which was really good, and I couldn't resist getting an energy drink with it. We even got some desserts to take back with us. I got this white one, which was kind of like cheesecake. It was really good, but I think Noki also wanted some. <laughs> We did our shift immediately after that and then we spent the rest of the day relaxing and watching friends. Tomorrow was my day off so I planned to spend it in Athens. I caught the train at around 12 o'clock that morning. It would have been earlier if I hadn't missed the train because the Greek public transport system is so confusing, but hey, I got it eventually. Now, I had such a culture shock when I first saw this place. It's so beautiful and historic, but the culture is just so different. First of all, I quickly learned to say no to people because shopkeepers will do everything in their power to get you inside their shop. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but I also got scammed in the first five minutes I was there, so it really wasn't the best first experience. So my word of advice, if anybody ever offers you a bracelet, just walk away, okay? Just walk away. <laughs> For lunch, I went to Vegan Aki, a vegan restaurant that one of my hosts recommended. I ordered some falafel and it was really delicious, and the waitress was super friendly. As I didn't really know the area at this point, I decided to head back to the flea market. We're getting closer. I think this leads up to the Acropolis. Yes, I got the name right this time, finally. I didn't go up to see the Acropolis because I wanted to save it for a sunny day, but the area around it was beautiful and there was a fantastic view over the city. Oh, this is my kind of Athens. quite different in different areas of Athens. So many taxis, there's literally taxis everywhere, that's incredible. I decided that I preferred nature to the city at this point and so I found myself a national garden to explore before dark. 
So I found it's also a national park. It's free to enter, which is great. And I'm just walking around and seeing what's around, but it's already 5 p.m. So I might head back after this. Neither of my hosts were able to pick me up from the train station, so I figured out how to get a taxi for the first time. It was not fun. So not only did I just have my first taxi experience, I had my first taxi experience in Greek. So yeah, that was scary. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. This was only part one of the series. In the next video, I spend a week in the foster home where there's like another 40 cats for you to get to know. It's also going to be in a whole new area, so look out for that guys, I will see you next week, bye bye!